Another morning down by the pool, guys. Just chilling. After today, yesterday's festivity. It's a bit dusty this morning, but coming good now. Uh, may go for a little bit of a drive out behind these mountains this up. See what happens. Got the whole place to ourselves this morning. But first, we're going to have lunch, guys. We're at the Cop Jodeur at. I think it's pronounced Etera Hotel, right on the river, here in Van Vien. A quick look. You can just walk in, you don't have to stay at this hotel to come and enjoy their kitchen and their bar. Girls are just sitting over here trying to make their mind up. You do have to stay at the hotel if you want to enjoy their pool while waiting for lunch though so Mina is a little bit disappointed but we're going out behind the mountains and see what we can find out there but very beautiful place to enjoy a lunch by the river <laughs> little kids jumping in with the koi over here To give you guys an idea of where it's at, you can see the um, terracotta tile roof just there, the white building, that is the Vansana. Right next door here is the Silver Naga, the Terra. Three good hotels to stay at, right in the centre of Vang Vieng when um, you're up here. Starting at 108, this up to 240 better off staying at one of the others and coming down and using their restaurant. No breakfast is that good. We've all got the same view. I think it's mine, she just put it in the wrong place. What did you order? What did I order? I ordered a passion fruit smoothie. And you think this for you? It could be. It's for Mama. Is it? Okay. You sure? What flavour it? It's Pepsi. What flavour is that? Do you remember? Do I remember? I didn't order for Mum. Ah, okay. There's mine there. Uh, no, just give me a Okay, okay, okay. So what flavour did Mum order? Mango. Mango. Okay. How could, why didn't you get a shake? Hey? If I can't taste that, you can't taste it. Huh? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you are becoming Peron girl. Me has got a pizza. I was going to go the pumpkin soup or the yeah, okay. Pumpkin soup and the Luan Kabam or Bum Bing sausage. And I did see the fish and chips and I had it here last time. It was really good. So I'd say we're going to be eating pizza tonight when we come back. We're on vacation, all right? 
this is why I train when we're in the engine. Make sure you keep the brake on. <laughs> Thank you. This fella had too far of a walk back. I wasn't going to let him push it in this heat. And also all the way from, I think it was even to Blue Lagoon 1, it was still old gravel road back then. Hey, hey, my, my. Buggies further along this road, five hundred dollar fine. All right, just looks like we're out in the farms now. And it's starting to get hilly, leaving those cars and mountains behind us. What is woman? What is it? Oh, that's. Like a factory, water factory. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's just going up into the hills and we're probably closer to Luang Prabang than we are Bang Bieng now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just like a farm road. Yeah, farm. I knew there was another Blue Lagoon out here further, but I think it was that number five back there that is closed. Maybe some of these locals will know. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, cut dry. Shakti. Straight go to the river. That's it. No That's more it. road. Oh, no, so no, this will no, no, no. take us to. No, 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 no. <laughs> then it'll take us to the river. Yeah. 
Okay. I, I watched. Uh, yeah. Did, did he say how far? They don't. They, they just were over there. Yeah. I don't know how far. We know what that means, don't we? Could mean anything. Oh, is that is that the river? <laughs> We're on somebody's property now. As dry as it looks, these hills and that. Oh, that's icy. There's just water everywhere here in Lao. She won't get out with that dog hanging around. Nah, that's it. a picture of a place isn't it though got all their wet um, wet season excavation gear bulldozer excavator you would need it for out here okay can tick that one off the list have followed the road right out here uh, how clear is that water look hey I could sit down and swim in that. Okay, Blue Lagoon, nine guys, or Interpark it's called. Got the big dinosaurs and that here. Um, lots of investment in it. But it's the dry season. Look how much lower it is now. It was... It is the dry season now. When we were here last, it was the wet. So, it'd be interesting to see what this blue lagoon is like. Yeah, when we were here, it was um, wet season. Looking very good. Very tempting. So, we'll just go for a bit of a squeeze. Let's see what it's like. Oh, this path's broken up already. Yeah. One of those parks are going to have to come just after the wet season, I think. Even the little pool that Mina was swimming in. It's very cloudy and dirty. Yeah, it's dirty, hey? Big disappointment. The water was right up to the up to this top step. You would not swim in that now. No good, hey? Do you, do you, boy? You remember when the water was up here, and it was nice, wasn't it? It was very lovely. I was over here having a chat to Tony. We're out here with Tony and Shelley. This is a nice one, isn't it? It's a good depth, you can see the bottom of it, it is clear. Look at that. It's where the water's coming from. The, the water is down a good three, four foot now and not flowing at all. As I said in that, that video at the time, we came out here in probably around 2017. It was just grassland, and I went to go up the cave there. It got all muddy in that, and come down here. And this was just like lowland marshy, with a couple of inches of water in it. This has all been excavated to create. You wouldn't even call it a blue lagoon. A swimming hole. But not a place to come in the dry season, guys. Blue Lagoon 9. You can check out the video when we were here and it was very appealing in um, I think it was around October. So this one is a seasonal thing, not like the other Blue Lagoons, but we've been to any month of the year and they're usually good. You'd think a pool like that, they'd be able to maintain that better. You don't want to swim in that, do you? No. They have heavily invested in this uh, park. 
many dinosaurs and gardens and waterways all around it but it's not maintained and you have that critical shortage of fresh water running through it which makes it appealing for people to come and swim you don't really have a, an attraction then do you you do have an attraction for the gardens and that I guess yeah. wonder why it has dried up fellow over there fishing looks like just a spot to come and um, enjoy the backdrop of the mountains and the gardens and that now and he's just asking some of the locals now you know, what is the go with the water you know, because they obviously didn't have flowing water anymore. Well, did the local know anything? The lady? Just um, no. Water is low, really low this day, this year. This year? Yeah, but before, another year before, no, never, never low. But this year is low, is the water from the mountains not come anymore. But May, they don't know what happened. Maybe more farmers upstream? No. Pumping and diverting water? No. That's come from the Comes mountain, from the ground? Okay. From the, the ground. But no water from the ground anymore. I asked about, how about the Burukun too? The same? No. That's the... Well, Another river, another That's oh, another stream, stream, another spring. Yeah. Hey, hey, mama. Rock and roll can never die. Lagoon one's all right. Blue Lagoon two's all right. It's it's so it's just it's a, free. affecting Inter Park. It's, it's nine, right? Nine, yeah. Okay, that's good to know. It's not yeah. good for Inter Park Blue Lagoon nine, obviously, but it's good to know that not all the springs are drying up here. Yeah. Mm, maybe. I, I asked her. Uh, they not do anything. Some dam or do. Another no. thing, a small dam or something like that. No, no. that's water from the mountain, from the ground. Not, okay. It's but not come anymore this year. They don't know what happened. You'll have to follow that up next year, see if it's yeah. better. We're on to it, guys. Yeah, that, that is really bad for if, the people if who... If not come again. <laughs> yeah, the people who invested in that, they would have spent millions just doing that place up turning it from what it was into what it is now and the, its main attraction that water source is <laughs> ruining it for them so hopefully it's just a dry year for them we are just on the opposite side of where we were yesterday drove past here and it was empty a couple of hours ago but no we're not getting into it today so. That is the party we were at yesterday, we're on the opposite side of the river, we've just come back from out in the Blue Lagoons and that. We thought we'd stop in here and see how everything has been going. All the way down the river. Parties everywhere. It is. 
know what that's it. Not real safe going for one of those long tails up here with all the kids swimming and that. This wasn't here last time we were here. Korean Club 99. Directly across from the Amari. It has, what's that? Brighton Beer Garden out the front. Good. We're walking up to see if Gary's is open. Gary's Irish Bar hasn't been open since we've been up here. I think he's. He's had BMI off and it's not looking real promising. There are a few restaurants along this street. We're looking for somewhere to get a food. Okay, we found a place guys. Straight across the road from this souvenir, a garment shop and the Amari, right on the corner here, is A Flora Cafe. I've walked past it many times. We're camped right here. And I've ordered myself an Australian sirloin and steak with mashed potatoes and veggies. Nina and Lena is sharing love. Three hundred and twenty thousand kit, sixteen US dollars for about twenty-three Aussie dollars for my meal. I hope it's a good thickness and not wafer thin like they like to do over here. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Funny looking mashed potato and a spoonful of veg. Steaks average thickness. Let you know what it's like. What have the girls got? What do you got there, Mina? Some love. 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 I know. Nina was just saying food in Bungbing is very expensive. Very expensive. Just before walking in here, I bought a hand of bananas, which would cost 15000 in the ancient. It cost 50000 here. Would have cost me 75 cents. Look, in the picture, it's very big. Huh? Yeah. In the picture, it's cooked big. right. It does taste good. Not as thick as I'd like, but it is good. I was looking forward to mashed potato though. Real steak that. You want to try some? Yeah, pretty good. Not a bad steak, guys. That music is here. That is coming from a few hundred metres off. A bit less than a kilometre upstream where we were yesterday.
Anyway guys, that's it. Another day in Vangyang. Our second full day here. Don't know what we're getting up to tomorrow, but anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one.